Right, uh, one of our best known and most admired actors has been announced at the, as the star of his first ever pantomime at Bristol Hippodrome this Christmas. No, oh, no, he hasn't. I could sniff that. Right? <laughs> well, it's Poirot himself, Sir David Suchet, who will be turning from hero to villain as he plays Captain Hook in Peter Pan. Max Walsh has been speaking to him and other members of the cast. Thank you all for joining me, first of all. David, I'm going to start with you. You're sat beside two very experienced panto stars and you're sandwiched in the middle there to do your first panto. How, how are you feeling about it all? Thank God I'm sandwiched between two really terrific and seasoned artists and popular artists. I have always been desperate to try my hand at panto and I'm already today, which is our first day of being together, I'm having the most wonderful time. I mean, look, I come out from a classical theatre background you know, 13 years with the Royal Shakespeare Theatre Company. And um, now Panto, why not? So, Phil, you've got a lot of experience with Panto. And I, I, was, I was looking back at some interviews that you've previously given where you said you did your first pantomime at age six years old. That's true, yes. Um, I was a little jelly babe, which is one of the dancers they have on stage. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm an old hat, it's in my blood. And any advice for David then? For his first one, what do oh, you yes, think? Please. As a six-year-old, you know, it, when you first started out, like, you must have some good tips now. For well, David. I feel a little ridiculous giving you any sort of advice. <laughs> um, but um, I think the best thing is just that we're going to have a lovely time. Yes. You know, we're storytelling and we're spreading joy. The fact that you're here is spreading joy to all of us already. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, just a lot of fun. How lovely. Mm. And, and Andy, you've, you've not only got the panto experience, but you've got the... Bristol Hippodrome Factor is what I'm going to call yeah, it. Yeah, like David said, this is my 11th pantomime at the Bristol Hippodrome. So I love the place. It's just fantastic. And the audiences are so great. And this is why I'm really excited to see David's face on the opening night when the audience go absolutely crazy. I think that's right. And another reason you asked me why. I want to do something with kids. And, uh, you know, 25 years of Poirot, as well to this. I couldn't be in a better place at my stage in life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I feel so thrilled. You bring a Poirot there and I wonder what are the links do you think between Poirot's character and Captain Hook? Honest, any? <laughs> honestly? Pretty much none whatsoever. <laughs> which is why it's so great. <laughs> what a character for me to play. If we're going to enjoy it on stage, yeah. you're going to enjoy it in the audience. Exactly. Uh, and, and we're obviously on a a bit of a pirate-esque ship at the moment, so are you kind of channeling that, that Captain Hook energy as we're doing this interview? Well, it was lovely coming on board, it, because this is my Jolly Roger. And uh, <laughs> yes, quite right. Yes, I'm thrilled to have done some photo shoots out here and get me in the mood, and why not? And the pipe's that way when you do the <laughs> Without any crocodiles. <laughs> Can you imagine telling David Suchet, no, no, you're not, you're not doing it right. <laughs> it's a mic drop moment. I've done 34 years at the Royal Shakespeare. <laughs> He's That's going to be an amazing Captain Hook, I think. He is that going to be really good. Yeah. I can't believe we're actually talking about pantomime, but it is so warm outside. Charlie, especially at the weekend, it was particularly hot. Yeah, it really was.